Hey, what's going on everyone? So I'm riding my bike on the LA River the other day and I come across this scene which I thought was pretty cool. I've always heard about people kayaking the LA River and I've been curious about it. If you are curious in the same way, I'm going to put a video together that shows you how. So I was lucky enough to chat with a guide who was very friendly and took the time to answer some questions. Um, I told her I had a YouTube channel and she inquired as to how many subscribers I have. And I told her, well, I've got 360 easy. And she says, 360,000? I said, no, like 361. But still, she was kind enough to give me the info. So let me relay to you what I learned. First of all, there is a season. Um, I think the season opens after Memorial Day and it goes through September. And I'm gonna leave a link to their website where you can get information about stuff like that. Now this next video clip will demonstrate why there is a closed season. So this is footage of the LA River. We've had a pretty rainy winter so far and right now it's not really even raining that hard. I would call it moderate. But as you can see, it gets flowing pretty good. We got a couple of ducks over there having fun, reveling. Um, but this is not as high as the river gets. I mean, you look at the Look at that debris over there, and especially in this section right here, the river clearly overflows. Now, my concern is for the um, couple of couple three homeless encampments that are another half a mile up. I'm I'm not sure what they do when it rains, you know, this hard. I uh, fear for their safety. In addition, there are only a couple of sections that you can kayak legally. One is, she mentioned, Sepulveda Basin or something like that. And then the other section is near Elysian Park. Now, I think the section near Elysian Park is much more scenic than Sepulveda. And that's probably why they set up shop here. So I'm going to zoom in here and give you a macro approach of what the trip entails. So this right here is where the 5 freeway and the 2 freeway intersect and the portion of the river that we are interested in is just north of that. So zooming in further, this right here is the 2 freeway and this is Fletcher Boulevard. The put-in point is right around here somewhere. So I'll drop a waypoint here. call it put it and the takeout point is let me see if I can find it here right around here okay so let me give you a picture or some video that kind of details what this place looks like from the LA River. So I think this is the outfit that leads kayak tours on the LA River. So essentially what you do is you park here and then you get on a bike and bike from the outfit to the put-in point. I'm gonna guess the mileage one way is like one mile maybe and you're on the river path so it's safe and it's flat it's virtually flat. So once you arrive at the put-in point they will have kayaks waiting for you here. They give you a quick crash course on how to be safe. You put into the water you paddle downstream and then you take out here you get in your cars and you go home okay so at this point i'm going to devote the rest of the video to clips where you see people actually navigating the river so this is the party and they are bicycling from the point where they store the kayaks so they bicycle here and then what they'll do is they will jump into the kayaks there 
and then they'll paddle about a mile. The, one of the guys tell me that it's been pretty safe since the beginning of the season, which was around the beginning of June. They've had one person go into the drink. As you might imagine, because the water is so shallow, it doesn't pose a big threat. Now, one of the first questions in my mind was, how safe is this water if you were to fall in? Because I know for a fact that there are multiple homeless encampments upstream. And the guide tells me that the city does indeed perform testing on this water about two times a week. And she tells me that the city seem, or city deems it swimmable, not drinkable, because in order to make it drinkable, you have to add chlorine, which would be harmful to the life, of course. But it is swimmable. So all the gear is provided for you. They give you the kayak, of course, and then the paddles and helmets and safety gear. And the guide tells me that the instruction is short and sweet, about 10 minutes. And then you're good to go. So right there is the two freeway. She says during the season, um, they run tours twice a day on the weekends. I think she mentioned noon and 3.45. She did mention that the 345 tour is more pleasant because there is less sun. And um, she mentioned that the water level is about two, three inches higher for whatever reason. On a weekday, if you can gather enough people, I think the minimum is, um, she mentioned about seven people, then you can go ahead and do the tour with your own little group. So friendly outfit and they're getting ready to put in. So he's speaking on a very important topic and I think this basically applies to any kayak. And what he just said was, when you go to get inside the boat, don't step onto the boat with your feet, okay? You wanna keep your center of gravity low, you wanna back up and put your butt on the kayak first and then throw your legs over, which is exactly what happens in ocean kayak fishing as well. New people. So again, watch how he enters the boat. So, butt in first. Okay, keep the center of gravity low, and you should be a-okay. Patch of the water here, so they're kind of, kind of doing the scooch maneuver. <laughs> Now this section is pretty cool because it gets narrow there so the water will pick up speed and then widen out and slow. But that little neck, that little bottleneck is going to be fun and interesting. One of the guides, clearly she knows what she's doing. There's a newbie. Okay, that about wraps up this video. 
looks like a very fun trip. And this is a public river, so nothing is preventing you from launching your own kayak as long as you navigate this stretch of the river. You might need some help from a buddy to work some kind of a car shuttle, but overall a fun trip and a safe trip and one that you could easily do. Hey, as always, thank you for dropping by. Get out there and have some fun. Be safe and we will see you soon. Bye for now.